Next up is a girl who's a fan of all things Japanese. Say konnichiwa to Geisha. Hello, I'm Geisha. I'm a performing artist and a fashion stylist. And it started off with um, some white makeup. All of a sudden, I thought, what the hell? I'm just going to paint everything. I'm going to paint my whole face. And then somebody says, you look like a geisha. And I said, OK, I'm geisha. <laughs> uh, I think geisha is nearly, nearly ready. This is like a Richmond Life Festival. I'm going to be doing a show here. It's a buzz. I like it. I'm going to sing for you a song today. It's about Humpty Dumpty. I used to be really, really shy. And then one day I thought, I don't care anymore <laughs> what people think. I love all my outfits because it's just like, it makes me feel like a superhero or something or a cartoon. And I definitely feel animated. My insides feel very animated. I like to show the world like that animated feeling on the outside. I'm going to show you what this t-shirt because I really absolutely love it because it says break the rules on it and that's exactly what I do in art and fashion, I break the rules. So Geisha, this fascination with all things Japanese and did it mean, have you been over to Japan and fell in love with the place? Um, never been there. <laughs> <laughs> so you've never been to Japan but you've decided to turn yourself into a geisha? Yeah, I mean a lot of people they, they've actually thought that I went to Japan and then come back but um, it's just happened this way, it's an evolution of something. Is this a Barbie dress? Yeah. Somewhere in the world there is a naked Barbie because her dress is on your head? Yeah. Pod's gonna have a field day with you. <laughs> How do you think you're gonna feel when Pod takes away top-to-toe geishaism from geisha? I think I might put my face back on. We'll see what happens though, we'll see what happens. Though. Geisha, I'm gonna wish you a good looking pod now and I will see you without the Barbie dresses. Good luck. <laughs> I am Pod. Who are you? I'm Geisha. You're an 18th century Japanese courtesan? Oh, I wouldn't quite say that, no. What would you say? Well, Geisha originally meant artist. Yeah, artist of all arts. Are you an artist of all arts? I could say so, yeah. I do bits and bobs of everything. I'm um, half fashion stylist and half performing artist. And two halves make a total mess. What are you covered in? Many different colours, fabrics, um, netting, little Barbie doll dress, beads. Where do you find these bits and bobs? I like to collect things all over the place. In skips? Yeah, sometimes I could find some stuff that you might say belongs in a skip, but I don't. One man's junk is another geisha's gold. This is my insides outside. I, I would quite c call it natural myself. I feel natural. Your insides outside? Yeah. Is that why your outfit looks like your small intestine has been exposed? Hmm, that's a little bit cruel of you. I'm, I might cry actually. I won't though, Pod, you know. How do other people react to your geisha look? Mainly people find it fun. I, I want to make people smile. And I'm sure you give some people a right good laugh. Yeah, there's been some people. Shall we find out what kind of reaction your geisha style got in our poll? Okay. Run phase one, public analysis. We asked the public based on your current look if they wanted to snog, marry or avoid you. What do you think they said? I think that they said avoid. Let's find out. Play. Very strange. <laughs> I'd avoid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll do it. I'd avoid her. I don't think what she's wearing is very odd. <laughs> I avoid this girl. She looks like she's probably escaped from the mental hospital and needs to go back Ooh, ASAP. Oh, I wouldn't say that I'm mental. Maybe I'm slightly eccentric, I'd say. Hmm. Five percent of the public did actually want to lock lips with you. Really? They wouldn't make her fall over their face then? But a hefty 95 percent said they'd avoid you. Cool. We also asked if the public thought you were a gorgeous geisha, a wasabi wannabe or a minging manga. I think that they said a gorgeous geisha. Play. 
She looks like she could be a wasabi wannabe. Oh, definitely. I think she's a minging manga. I'd go for she's a wasabi wannabe. 75% of the public thought you were a minging manga. Really? Wow. 25% said wasabi wannabe. Uh-huh. Sadly, no one thought you were a gorgeous geisha. Oh, that's too bad. Are you ready for my verdict? Yes, I would like to hear Pod's verdict. Your gruesome makeup and bizarre clothes make you look like a cartoon calamity. So you're going to be redrawn with my modern classic make under. Really? So you don't think that my artwork is nice? Well, it's certainly very experimental. But I can see that hiding beneath all that haberdashery is a natural beauty. Geisha likes to move forward. In that case, run the make under in three. Two, one. What do you think? Ooh, very nice. <laughs> it's cool. I think I'm going to go out tonight like this. The dress is lovely. Great shoes. Nice cardi. Now we've got rid of all that paraphernalia, Pod computes you're a natural work of art. <laughs> Easy to say so. Previously, 95% of the public wanted to avoid you. Do you want to know what they said now? Yes, I do. Play. Uh, I'd definitely marry her. She looks very classy. Yeah, definitely a snob. Um, I'd definitely uh, probably snob this girl. She's got a really nice smile. In fact, of all the people we asked, 70% wanted to snog or marry you. That's cool. <laughs> Here's how Pod achieved the natural new you. Hair. Create an old-school Hollywood look with a classic updo with soft curls at the front to flatter a slim face. Fashion. Choose shoulder pads to broaden the shoulders and to balance out a petite frame. What do you like most about your new look? All of it, especially the hair. That's because you don't have a bird's nest in it. I agree. Pod loves it when a plan pays off. Goodbye, Geisha. Bye, Pod. I've come to meet my friend Danny. You might not even recognise me. Maybe you'll think, who's that? <laughs> hey! Hello, awesome. how are you? How are you doing, Danny? Oh, wow, yeah. you look amazing, dude. Really? Oh, yeah, thank you. you look great. Cool. <laughs> Wow, you yeah, look great, Many changes, dude. thanks, man. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I got great hair, good makeup, nice new clothes. I think that she's absolutely fabulous, and I would definitely want to meet Pod again. I mean, it was an absolutely um, life-changing experience. I love you, Pod. Bye bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Earlier on the show, we met Geisha and Pod transformed her from a wacky princess into a gorgeous natural beauty. One of the biggest transformations that we've ever had on the show. But as she kept it up, let's meet her and find out. Geisha, you appear to have a moustache. I'm Geisha Chaplin for today. Of course you are, and why wouldn't you be? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you say it's a confidence thing that you, you wear this makeup all the time? It's partially that, and um, also, like, I'm an artist, so I like to wear my paint on my sketchbook or I like to wear my paint on my face. Now, on the day, it was such a huge transformation. I mean, Geisha before and Geisha after. It was like two completely different people. Could you see how amazing you looked as a natural beauty? Yeah, I liked it as well. Um, I think it was like it was somebody else. And this is me now. That was me then. <laughs> now, have you got a message for the lady herself, Pod? Thank you, Pod. It was a great experience, but um, I told you that I wouldn't change. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Pod. Geisha looked gorgeous when you finished with her. What happened? She clearly misunderstood my instructions. I told her to keep up the good work, not to look like a complete burk. But it's not every girl that can carry off a moustache. I think this one looked like a right Charlie. I do agree with you, Pod. Well, you can't win them all. I think it's time for you to pod off. Yeah.